you're a health fanatic and you want to draw inferences or conclusions from your logs, from what work you're putting into your body, you want to be able to use that information either to reminisce or to do something else with, to get another type of output out of it. And logging our exercises, logging our health issues, logging our injuries will look something like this in the log release system, log, relate, discover. We have our inputs on the left hand side. This would be going to the gym, going for a run, going for yoga. It enters into our personal knowledge management as a log. It is relate, related, log, relate, discover by the hashtag that we give it. We give it some extra context. What is this log about? Well, it's about you going to the gym, my good friend. What is this log about? Well, it's you going for a run. So we use this relate to discover these logs again in the future. So we logged it, we related it by putting a hashtag and more context, and then we start to pull it through via different data view queries to the respective pages or MOCs where we can view that data grouped together. So this would be an MOC where you can see all the gym sessions, how hard you trained, how you felt, what type of exercise you've done. For running MOC, this might be all the past logs where you did a five kilometer time that was exceptional, or you were a little bit slower today because you felt a little bit off, or logging all your yoga sessions. Now, what would be the output out of this? Well, for the gym sessions, you could have an article at the end of the year saying, this is what I've learned over the past year from going to the gym. Or for the running, it could be how I achieved a sub 21 minute five kilometer run. Or for yoga, it just could be the physical output of being able to do a handstand. Now you can see how these learnings could turn into permanent notes. So from these yoga sessions, you can say, okay, so today we went through this specific pose, the crow pose, which is the first phase of a handstand. And then you can have a permanent note on how to do a handstand. And then that would ultimately lead to an output. So this is just the idea of how it flows through our system. Let's go through an actual walkthrough. Meet Eli, the exercise guy. Now Eli likes, no, he loves sports. He does a lot of it. He would like to log his exercise sessions to review it in the future. A couple of other things he would like to log as well is any type of injury, sickness, or setback he comes across in his fitness journey. So you see he has a pencil in his mouth, which means he logs everything. He is meticulous. Now this will allow him to look back at the good workouts, the bad workouts, healthy days, unhealthy days, any injuries he received throughout his career, and how he managed to handle them. So first, Eli is a smart guy. He creates a couple of templates. And a template in our evergreen vault resides over here, log templates. And what these templates are is on our daily note, because we use daily notes first system, which just means that we use our daily note as a launch pad for everything that we want to keep track of. So if I go to the gym, I need to log it on my daily note because that provides context chronologically in order to find those notes again, even though they're automatically pulled through to the different MOCs. So what would these log exercise templates look like? So just the generic one would look something like this log exercise. And then we have jump to file coastal location. This is just part of the templar templator plugin. And you just activate automatic jump to cursor location and in order to set the hotkey, you're just going to go to hotkey and you're going to type in cursor and all the way at the bottom, you see template, jump to next cursor location. And I've assigned the hotkey of alt A. Now what this does is when I pull in this template into my daily note, wherever I want to log it, I can press alt A and it would jump to the different locations. I don't need to click every single time I want to move around to fill in the date or duration or intensity. But here you can see we log exercise. And then you're going to say what type of exercise the date is automatically filled in based off this day to day the intensity you're going to fill in duration you're going to fill in intent you're going to fill in so this is one of the templates let's say you go to a gym we have a template for gym as well log exercise gym you can tell 
the log which gym you went to, also date, intensity, duration, same thing. For let's say yoga, yoga intensity, duration, intent, same thing. When we go for a run, we'll have distance included. So we just created a bunch of different templates and you can create as many of these templates as you want. We have logging injuries templates as well. So log injury template, which is just the hashtag log injury. And we have sickness template, which is log sickness. So Eli, the exercise guy, goes to the 27th. And this is what it looks like when he logged exercise at Gold's gym. It was a high intensity workout. The duration was 30 minutes. The intent was muscle gain. And then he went for a sauna session afterwards. And then he went for a yoga session. So for the 28th, he did something similar at 8 p.m. in the evening. He logged exercise gym at Gold Gym again. He logged an injury. Oh, he broke his, his leg. Ouchie, okay. And then he went for a run after he broke his leg. He seems like a smart guy. And then on the 29th, he went for another run and then he broke his leg. So if I go to the 29th, you can see that at 6 a.m. this is when he logged it. Now let's just say that I want to log another run after I broke my leg. I press Alt E. I say log run template. You can see the date is incorrectly folded in to today's date, not the 29th, which we are on the 29th. So just change that to the correct date if you are retrospectively adding these logs. Then you can press Alt A to jump to the next coastal location. And it was high, distance 10 kilometer, duration one hour, intent fitness. So that is how you would log it. If we go back to Eli, the exercise guy's walkthrough, how do we revisit these notes? Well, we can go to the home page, and the home page is just uh, the place where you can find or navigate to everything and there should be a health page. So if we go to home, you can see that there's a health page. If I go to health, you can see that there's a couple of logs. We have a workout log, injury log, sickness log. And this for now is just manually filled in. And if we go to workout log, we can see that we have all workouts. And then we have intense gym workouts. So all workouts should have all the workouts that we have done in our life or however many we logged and the data view query for this just looks like this it's a data view query so you need a data view plugin and we pull in all the tasks the tasks just says i contains which just means case insensitive of where the task contains log exercise so we're looking for these tasks or logs where it says log exercise we group by the file name just to group it. So we see on the 29th, we grouped these two together. For the 28th, we grouped these two together. And then we sort file name descending. For the intense gym workouts, 30 minutes. This just showcases how you can adapt these queries to your liking. Again, we start with data view. And this little guy is just to create that little line on the left hand side that I really enjoy. Just says pull in tasks where we see log exercise gym. And then we just have another I contains and an and condition. So it says return all the logs where it says log exercise gym and the intensity was high. So intense gym workouts, 30 minutes. So you can add, let's say intense gym workouts, 30 minutes. If you want to add the 30 minutes, we can do another one. I contains and we say duration 30 minutes you can see it only pulls back the one that is a log exercise gym intensity high and duration is 30 minutes so let's just take that out and we take that out because now you should know how to adapt it to your use cases so we have the workout log if we go back we can see we have an entry log same thing we have a data view query that pulls in where it has log injury and here we can see all our injuries in chronological fashion. And same thing for the sickness. So over time, you can draw some conclusions from your data. Now, Eli, the exercise guy, is happy. 
you can find all the logs and you can see your performance over time or we'll just read some insights that you have gleaned. Now this is how we, or Eli, the exercise guy, tracks his workouts, injuries, and sickness.